Hey, James and Mitchell here again. This is the third and final part of our Lenormand Oracle Meets Days of Our Lives reading series. And so as you know, I've been using the Lenormand Oracle as a way for me to gain more experience reading with people. And I've been using Will Horton from Days of Our Lives and we've been looking at his marriage to Sonny Kyriakos because it's in a state of crisis and we've been asking whether or not this marriage could be saved. So in the first video of our series, we did what I call the storyline style of reading where I had all the cards out on the table and turned them over one by one based on the order of the cards that came before it to see what's going on, what's going to happen, and who's involved and how. And so if you remember, Will's card showed up, Paul's card showed up, but Sonny's card didn't. And it prompted me to do in our previous episode, which was episode two, uh, to do a portrait spread because when I turned all the cards over, I found Sonny's card next to Will's card, but Sonny's card was face down. So we did a portrait spread and looked at what the energy was surrounding Will and Sonny and their daughter Ariana because Ariana was on the other side of Will in that very line. And then this video is going to be yet another extraction from the portrait spread and we're going to do what's called a line of five or the answer spread and this one is going to give us the bottom line answer of what's going on. So with all that said, let's get to the reading. And here we are with the portrait spread that was in our last video and I, at the end of that video I said I was going to do another method or technique that's going to allow us to get the bottom line of what these readings have been all about. If you've noticed, I have took the portrait spread from the first spread or the reading that we did and this one is going to be an extraction of this portrait spread. So the way it goes is that you start with the middle card which is Will's card and you count two. So one, two. So we remove the child card one, two, we remove the lilies. One, two, we're going to remove the crossroads. And then one, two, we're going to remove the bouquet. So these are going to be the five cards that are going to make up this line of five or the answer spread. So you want to take them and we're going to reshuffle them. So we're going to rearrange them. And the way it works is that Will's card is going to be the first card because that was the focus card. Then the card that was card seven, which was the sickle, is the next card. And then we're going to have a new focus card here with the mountain, which was card nine. And then we're going to take the moon, which was card two. And then our last card is going to be the card that represents Sunny. So the first thing I see is that we have the men on each side of the layout. So that automatically tells me that again that they are on opposite sides, polar ends of the spectrum. These three cards are going to show us what they need to overcome in order to get back together. Okay, so now Will was the focus card in the portrait spread and so now we have a new focus card which is the mountain. And so I've said in previous videos that the mountain represents an obstacle, a block, or a challenge. So right now, this is the focus, that this is the block between the two men in order to repair or save their marriage. So the mountain not only talks about a block or an obstacle, but it also talks about something that's going to take a long time to overcome. So that's the focus. So now we touched on the sickle here. The sickle being next to Will is significant because, I don't know if you can see it, but the sickle has a blade and it's always important to see which way that the blade is pointing because the direction that the blade is pointing to represents the event or the person that uh, has caused the break, the severance, uh, has created the risk in the situation. So the blade is pointing to Will. And so as we've said in previous videos, Will is the one who had the affair, so he is the one who really is at fault here. And this card, with the blade pointing to him, is acknowledging that. It, the sickle here is saying that he 
took the risky action. He's the one who caused the break, the sever, the disruption, the disconnection between him and Sonny. And so he has to acknowledge that. Um, the other thing about this, because the blade is pointing to him, while it looks like he hurt Sonny with his action, he has really hurt himself. So he, you know, is causing himself just as much pain as he's causing Sonny, if not more so. The other thing about the sickle is that this is a card of removal. So it's funny that his action is causing his own removal from Sonny's life. You know, he's the one who did it. So the cards just keep reinforcing that. And so one of the things that Will has to do is acknowledge that he's the one who did this. He's the one who severed this relationship. He's the one who created the disconnection. Okay, so that's what the sickle means. Now on the other side, next to Sunny, we have the moon card here. Well, in the previous videos, I've always said that this card was about work or career, especially with Will wanting to make a name for himself. And that is how Paul got introduced into the story because Will was doing an interview f uh, with him for his uh, magazine job. Now, the moon being next to Sonny says a couple of things. Number one, this is a very emotional issue for Sonny because the moon can also represent something having to do with the emotions. So this is an emotional issue for Sonny. Sonny, out of the two of them, he's the dreamer and he's the romantic going again with aspects of the moon. The other thing about this card is... Um, I started reading with playing cards when I started as a card reader. So I'm looking here at the moon, and the moon has an inset of the Eight of Hearts. Whenever the Eight of Hearts is a card in a reading, it represents uh, an emotional decision that's going to need to be made. And so since it's right here next to Sunny, Sunny's going to be the one who needs to make an emotional decision. And of course the decision is, is like, do I stay or do I go? Um, in tarot, the Eight of Hearts is also known as the Eight of Cups, and so that card represents a, a departure, a moving on, a, leaving the past behind, um, uh, abandoning a situation that you feel, because Cups and Hearts rules of feelings and the emotions in the heart, that you feel is no longer working, it's become toxic. So since this card is next to Sunny, it could suggest that at some point, Sonny may make the emotional decision that, you know, he just has to leave the marriage. So that could happen too. The other thing about the, the moon and the eight of hearts as its inset is that it represents a month in time because it's a full lunar cycle. So it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out a month from now and where the players are in terms of the story. Okay, so that's uh, the line that there's one other technique we could do and that's called reflecting or mirroring and what we do is we take the cards that are on the opposite ends of each other so we take the two man cards and then that that would be a pair that we could use to read or gain, gain some information from the thing about the two men cards is that they don't really offer any information other than these are the two men that are involved in the story however the sickle and the moon as a pair represents um, an emotional disconnection you know so that's a pair so again it's just reinforcing the idea that there has been um, a, a disconnection on an emotional level based on Will's actions again because the sickle is next to Will so that's one thing we could do another thing we can do is we can take the mountain which is the focus card and then read the cards that are next to it so here with the sickle and the mountain, we have a pair that represents uh, a disconnection that's going to take a long time to overcome. Okay, Then we do it again with the mountain and the moon, and it represents an emotional challenge. So there is not offering any additional information that's new, but the fact that it keeps giving us the same message again and again is important. You want to look for repeating messages and not necessarily just for new information. So this is the line of five or the answer spread and it looks like based on what these cards are saying it's acknowledging the disconnection between Will and Sunny because there's cards in between them so we call that there's distance. 
Um, it's acknowledging that Will has created the, the disconnection. It's going to take a long time to overcome. And at some point, Sonny may make an emotional decision. And that could be that he's going to leave the relationship. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I know I have. And so now we just have to see what happens on the show. And if you follow my blog or my video uh, channel on YouTube, I will post updates regularly to keep you all uh, informed. And you could do the same with, with me. I mean, I watch the show, but I don't get to watch it every day. So if you are a day's viewer, <laughs> you could hit me up and let me know what's going on. So again, this is Jameson Mitchell. This has been the Lenormand Oracle meets Days of Our Lives. And I will see you when we do our next series, which is going to be the Lenormand Oracle checks into Port Charles, which is General Hospital. And until then, take care.